professor samaran mandal the head of the department of yogic arts and science in vishwabharati central university shantiniketan we are so glad that you are organizing this wonderful program you know and in the context of the idy it is very apt that these webinars can bring the real knowledge base that is needed you know and rightly you have chosen the topic of lifestyle modifications that are needed to deal with our covid you know that lifestyle is what we call in yoga as the science of holistic living you know featured by the dimensions of health harmony peace and love and affection to everyone you know that will help to strengthen our immune system so that the immune system will be able to throw away or destroy the corona virus when they enter in you know international day of yoga the sixth one is soon getting approached and all of you know that june 21st has been the day of celebration of yoga throughout the world when our prime minister gave that wonderful speech of the holistic vision of yoga in the uno large number of countries supported him including the 45 islamic countries and everybody accepted that june 21st should be promoted as international day of yoga and the uno had no hesitation to do that and since then the june 21st is being celebrated as the international day of yoga not only in india but all over the world and the first international day of yoga was celebrated in delhi in the main rajpath and our prime minister made a remark that rajpath has become yoga path and we had the guinness world book of records where 45000 people came and the largest number of foreigners also joined since then everywhere every year the whole country is celebrating international day of yoga and this year what is going to happen le was the place that was selected by the prime minister to conduct and celebrate this idy in the central but unfortunately due to the covid lockdown there is going to be only the online programs throughout the country and all over the world you know and therefore on june 21st we are going to have the main address by our prime minister probably at 6:30 and 7 o'clock to 7:45 there is going to be the practical session of the yoga protocol the yoga protocol has been developed and improvised by all the yoga masters in the country and it consists of the holistic vision of yoga brought out in a practical form it consists of asanas the pranayama the meditation the motion culture and all the four streams of yoga dimensions gnan yoga raj yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga being knit into this protocol and people should start practicing right from this today if not already you have started you know the practicing of that so this time the celebrations will be very unique in its own way that people will start doing these practices in the house you know because we are essentially staying home during the lockdown condition and the quarantines and others you know wherever we are we should do that practice you know and see that all our family members also would practice you know and people should inspire others 
to do the practice. No. So that has been the mandate from the Ministry of Ayush to all people in the whole country. The Ministry of External Affairs also want to do the similar thing in all the countries throughout the world. No. So it's a very different but unique celebratory process of the International Day of Yoga. After this program, there could be webinars and our Ministry of Ayush is planning the entire webinar process. 21st being a Sunday, also it is the eclipse, the Grahana, Dusir Grahana. We are contemplating to see how best we will utilize this special event throughout the world for the development of the International Day of Yoga. Soon our ministry is going to announce the detailed programs after getting the permission from our Prime Minister. And that we all should follow. In our own homes, when we do this practice, we should also tell that we have done that to synergize the efforts and practices of people all over the country, all over the world. You know. For that, we have got the Ayush Sanjeevani. You know. So we have to download that Ayush Sanjeevani and fill up the few questions that have been asked there. You know. That will help to get large number of responses throughout the country and that is what our Ministry of Ayush wants. You know. They have kept a target of about 50 lakh people to download and fill up the Ayush Sanjeevani. So that is the dimension which gives us the information as to how things are happening throughout the country. So, the modalities that India is proposing to deal with the COVID is the social distancing, the lockdown and all the procedures that have been brought forth vividly, you know, including the Ay Sanjeevani and also the other dimensions. You know. So, when we all cooperate and start doing this thing, the spread of COVID can be contained. According to the predictions in India, by July it is going to blow up with exponential growth and we may have millions of people. So can we prevent this? Yes, then we have to follow the mandate given by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and our Prime Minister to have complete social distancing and the lockdown process and see that we follow this meticulously. That is for prevention. Similarly, the approach of the eye systems is contained in strengthening our immune system. There are a number of herbs and others which are available which have been identified the proper protocol by the Ministry of Ayush and our Prime Minister also has recommended that people can take these kashayas, the kada and other dimensions which have been identified and being used as immunity boosters. You know. People should do the practice for immune strengthening by simple practices which has been developed. No. Three different levels of the integrative modules have been put forth below 15 years of age, 16 to 60 years of age and above 60 years. The three integrated yoga modules have been done, can be done by anybody and everybody with the least effort. No. So each one will be about 10 to 15 minutes, should be repeated four times at least if not more, on a daily basis. If you do that, our immune system is going to get strengthened. Then for people who are already in the hospital 
who are declared positive and getting treated. For them, we have developed other small, small modules of slow breathing and the abdominal breathing dimension and the meditation techniques and slow breathing and others which can help in dealing with this corona spread in the body you know, by increasing the strength of the immune system. You know. The researchers have shown that wrong way of life and stressful way of life life featured by anxiety, distress, fear is going to suppress the immune system and prevents the immune system from doing its duty to remove all viruses and infectious things that come to the body. You know, this is what we have to do. So to keep ourselves healthy, to keep our immune system in a very desirable condition, we should be see that we follow the yoga dimensions. The key principles of yoga, relaxation at the body level, slowing down of breath at the prana level, calming down of the mind and vipassana at the emotional level to gain mastery over the emotions. All these things help us to see that we will be able to keep our immune system very ready, strong, full of energy, vitality, dynamism to see that it gobbles up any coronavirus that come through our nostrils and coming down. You know. Also our immune system has set the border security forces you know, and the natural killer cells are some of the modalities by which the immune system deals with this thing. So we also see that our immune system is very strong with largest number of the white blood cells and the WBCs are very big and very powerful and can easily you know, gobble up the viruses you know, and finish them. You know. As I have been mentioning, the coronavirus among all the viruses, the biggest so far found about 0 0.025 micron in size. You know. But our WBCs are very very large compared to this virus. It is hundred times bigger. You know. Therefore, it can easily combat the viruses. The second thing is the number of WBCs in our whole body is in billions, whereas the coronavirus that come could be in hundreds if not thousands. You know. So easily it can completely eradicate when they come. So that is the yoga approach. For that we have to see that we have to stay nicely in the houses and do the practices continuously, understanding the subtleties of the yoga practices. You know, our asanas, pranayama, meditation, upasanas, bandhas, mudras, everything should be knit into this thing which has all been done in our standard yoga protocol. You know. Therefore with these words I bring congratulations to all members of this wonderful conference and also to the team of organizers who have been able to do these things. And I wish you all the best that everybody be happy, healthy and eradicate the infectious and contagious diseases and NCDs and see that we grow better in health day by day, day by day to reach better and better levels of happiness that has been contained in this Shanti Mantra which you can all repeat after me. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma kasche dukha bhag bhavet Om shanti shanti shanti